What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more Kate Bush. And we're going back to her 1989 album, The Central World. I do have to mention how much I enjoy Rocket's Tale. I've listened to it every day since I did that reaction, which I think was literally a week ago. Um, yeah, just uh, there's been a number of tunes across each of her albums that have hit me in a very powerful way, but that tune definitely made a big impact, so shout out to that. And the next tune is called This Woman's Work. I'm intrigued. If it was just woman's work, I might get a sense that it could be about women more broadly, the burdens and struggles they face, the work they do, not just strictly speaking occupational, but familial, social, um, interpersonal, psychological, and so on. But to say this woman's work seems to place a much higher degree of specificity and to make it seemingly set within a particular narrative. So in that context, I feel a bit, you know, it's a bit opaque and I'm not sure who this woman is and therefore what kind of work she's doing and what the implications of that are. So let's find out. This is Kate Bush, This Woman's Work from her 1989 album, The Sensual World. Sometimes it's funny, I always talk about um, her composition and the you know, genius uh, audacity of her tunes 
uh, but never let it be forgotten that her voice is actually just a beautiful uh, sonic element in of itself. And yeah, I don't know, it's like at first we're hearing lines about, you know, she's outside this woman's, um, this outside this woman's life um, and this woman's work. But it sounds like maybe it was a mother-daughter tale and the, you know, maybe the mother is not around anymore, but, or maybe these are the words that she's passing on to her as she's, you know, passing away. Either way, um, yeah, that hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm not even sure what I'm saying at this point, so... Yeah, let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.